Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I've just got a short video here on uh, the master's project thesis poster. Uh, and really the goal here is to give you some information to, to get started on the poster and then flesh out a few of the expectations that are, uh, that are listed in the, uh, in the syllabus. Um, the description uh, in the syllabus is, is here, although uh, I've shortened it. Um, uh, just uh, I've pulled out the information that isn't exactly uh, germane to this, uh, to this video. So uh, here's the description in the syllabus. The poster, uh, the poster assignment is meant to practice the distribution of evidence-based information uh, similar to a professional presentation at conferences. Oh, there's a typo there. Um, the poster is a visual presentation of the thesis, including the topic, uh, the answerable question, and the, the salient information. Um, so what exactly do posters include? Well, posters include the most important information from your thesis. Now, one of the things that's extraordinarily difficult here is how do you take sort of a 30-page document that you've uh, invested kind of a you know a semesters or more a semesters worth of effort into how do you condense that down into a few hundred words um, and so I have a few uh, suggestions to help you get started here um, and, and I'll, I'll share them now um, so so consider this thought experiment uh, you're you're gonna meet with a friend you're gonna have coffee you're gonna have lunch or something like that and this friend knows absolutely nothing about social work. Uh, they know absolutely nothing about the topic uh, of your thesis. And yet they ask about it. Uh, they say, what are you working on? What did you do your thesis on? Um, what things would you communicate to them? The first uh, four, five, or six things that come to mind, those first four, five, or six sort of big ideas that come to mind are things that probably form uh, the first draft of your poster. That's information that probably should be included in, in the first draft of, uh, of your poster. A few other ways to get started. Uh, take a look at your abstract. Um, often uh, abstracts and posters uh, overlap quite a bit, and that's because they're both really condensed summaries of the much longer thesis document. Um, they contain sort of the information that is most important to uh, to sort of a, a lay audience. Uh, so so review your, review your abstract. Second, uh, so third thing you can do uh, as you proofread your thesis, um, pull out the sentences, the phrases, the ideas that are sort of most important. Put them in a separate word document or make a note of them on a piece of paper off to the side or something like that use those sentences, those phrases, those ideas uh, in the poster template as sort of the, the very first draft of your poster template and then and then sort of flesh them out a little bit. Fourth thing you can do is is take the, the headings and subheadings from the lit review portion of your thesis, uh, include them uh, or sort of put them into the, the poster uh, and sort of flesh them flesh them out that way. So I hope uh, that from among these sort of four different ways to sort of get started, you find something or a combination of things that, that sort of help you um, help you to get started. Um, if, if you're still struggling, uh, a couple of the things that I typically look for in, in posters um, are here on this screen. Uh, so I look for a description, um, a short description of the topic or the social problem. I look for inf information about prevalence, how common is the problem, how many people uh, experience the problem, that kind of thing. I then look for um, some information about factors that precede the problem, and I look for information about consequences of the problem, so what happens if we don't do anything. Um, and then I also look for information about uh, interventions. Well, so what interventions do we have the, uh, uh, for the problem and what evidence do we have that those interventions are effective uh, in, in ameliorating uh, that particular problem? Um, a few other things. Let me just, just put myself up here real quick. Um, I, I would recommend including uh, five or so, um, maybe a minimum of five, maybe a maximum of, of eight, of uh, the most Im important references from your thesis. And so these are often the ones you cite most often, or the ones that, that sort of had a particularly big impact on, on your thinking of, about your, your thesis. Um, 
Diagrams are okay. Pictures are okay. Um, even if you don't have one in uh, in the thesis itself, uh, one of the things you can do to create a diagram is use the the shape art in um, in PowerPoint, uh, and then you can you can sort of cut and paste it into the the um, uh, into the the final uh, the final poster. Um, I am completely fine with a mix of complete sentences and bullet points. Um, bullet points are things that uh, you probably want to emphasize or that you uh, you especially want your audience to remember. Uh, I think one of the things you could do is include sort of a summary panel um, that, that might have bullet points, and that would be sort of a summary of the poster, right? Um, uh, in in one particular uh, one particular panel, um, there are a number of templates uh, available to you on Moodle. Uh, I would select uh, I would I would take a look at all of them and select the one that sort of best complements uh, what it is you uh, wrote about in your thesis, and the kind of information that you uh, that you want to communicate. If you have questions, uh, you're unsure, you're trying to pick between a couple of templates, or you're just absolutely stuck, uh, get in touch with me. I'm happy to provide. Uh, some insight or or um, or some some ways to go. Um, I think one of the most uh, challenging parts of the thesis is taking, uh, or oh, excuse me, one of the most challenging parts of a poster is taking a thirty-page thesis uh, document and making it, you know, two hundred and fifty, three hundred or so words on a poster. Um, what's important to remember is that this really doesn't diminish the work you did on the thesis. Um, posters are actually complements to um, to the much longer thesis document. Um, there's a, actually a long tradition uh, of posters in uh, sort of academia in general. Um, one of the things that I do is uh, I, I often, um, when I'm working on an analysis, I write a poster, uh, present it at a conference, and use the feedback I get from that poster session uh, which is actually very similar to the to the colloquium. Uh, I use the feedback to sort of um, shape and evolve my ideas about the analyses that I did, and then I turn that poster into a uh, into a paper that I'm that I'm trying to publish. Um, in a in the this the context of the thesis, you're sort of going the opposite way. You did the thesis first, and then you are um, creating sort of a summary document in the poster, and that's what you're sharing with. Uh, with um, with the audience, uh, and so in this case, one of the things you can think about the poster is that this is sort of uh, a chance for you to showcase your knowledge about uh, about that particular uh, topic. Uh, you are the expert, and so you get to determine what what sort of goes on there and what sort of you you know what sort of information you want to. Um, you want to present sort of front and center. Um, it is important to remember that the poster is for uh, non-experts. It's for a lay audience. Um, so, uh, so you shouldn't feel pressured to use, um, um, especially large words or, or, or overly technical words, things like that. You want this to be accessible to a wide variety of people who don't have the same depth of knowledge that, that you do. People who are interested in, um, in the topic are going to ask you questions um, in this particular year. They're going to post those questions um, online um, or, or, you know, people are going to email you questions, that kind of thing. Um, but they'll engage with you and get more information uh, about the things that, uh, that they're, they're interested in. Um, and so remember, this is sort of a celebration of, of your hard work. You'll share drafts with me and with colleagues. We'll give, you know, we'll give you some feedback and you'll use that to sort of uh, enhance the quality of, of your poster. Um, I do have examples. Um, they, uh, they're, uh, I'm happy to share them uh, if, 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 uh, if you want. Um, and then aside from that, the thing I want you to, to remember here is that you're the expert. You get to... Uh, uh, trust your knowledge and trust the things that you've been reading over the course of the semester to uh, tell you what's most important and what kinds of things um, goes on uh, goes on the poster. So uh, I look forward to seeing these develop over the course of the next few weeks, and I look forward to uh, um, the the uh, the the end of April when we get to share these posters with. Uh, with everyone else and uh, and sort of uh, celebrate the, the hard work. So if you have questions, uh, as always, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. 
I'm happy to uh, uh, to talk about them, look at drafts, um, whatever it is you need to help you get through the, the semester successfully. Um, I hope uh, I hope this e or this uh, email I hope this video message finds you. Uh, sort of healthy and safe, and uh, and and that uh, your family and friends are are um, are healthy and safe uh, as well. Uh, and look forward to the last couple of weeks of this semester here. Okay, have a great uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye bye.